Let's use the get disk command in order to manage a hard drive. So I'm going to type in get dash disk and we're going to see we've got three different disks and two of the disks are already partitioned as GPT but one is still raw. That means that it, it's not online, hasn't been initialized and it's ready to be uh, manipulated any way we want. So if we do the get dash disk and then we do the pipe command then we can add additional commands as we go along. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We see the, the double arrows. So now I'm going to put in the initialization command. I'll go ahead and paste that in. And we can see that after the command, I've got the pipe command again because we want to continue adding additional parameters. So that's line two to initialize the disk. That basically turns the disk on, gets it ready to be partitioned and formatted. Next thing we want to do is we want to add the partition. So we see partition, assign the drive letter, and you're going to use the maximum size. We're going to use the entire partition. If we wanted to use less, then we could limit the amount of gigabytes that are available. And we'll go ahead and paste that one in. Next one is after the partition, we want to format it. So let's go ahead and put in a format dash volume. And we'll be doing NTFS, but you also can do REFS if you'd like. Then we're going to give it the uh, label name of disk2. And we're going to not confirm it because we don't want to be prompted for it. We just want it to happen. So once it's all done, all we got to do is hit enter and it's going to take care of that for us. And there we go. Now we see that it is disk E and the drive letters E and the friendly name is disk2 just like we told it to do. And we see it's NTFS, it's fixed, it's healthy, and it's using the five gigabytes. If we go into computer management, we can see a graphical representation of disk2 formatted with the drive letter E and NTFS. We could also just paste in all those commands at once as long as they're separated by the pipe command as you see here. And in between each pipe command we have a, uh, a new command that's run and it goes ahead and takes care of that all in one. We can just type in help get dash disk and we'll see all different kinds of switches that we can do. There we are. So followed by the get dash disk command, you can use any one of these switches. And if you want to see some examples of get dash disk, you can just do get dash help, get dash disk, and then dash examples. And this gives you some really good examples. So for instance, we could find out if we have any USB drives on here. In this case, we don't, so it won't give us an answer, but just to give you an idea. So if you take a look at the get-disk, it's followed by the pipe command so we can put in our where object. And so a where object is looking for a specific type of hard disk. And we can filter it down. You see the filter script option. And it's always uh, 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 followed by these brackets that have the dollar sign underscore dot. And in this case, we're looking for a bus type. And in uh, this option, we're using USB. You can also use iSCSI, SCSI, you know, various different types of hard drives. And we hit enter, and then it tells you whether or not you have any of those types of drives. We're also going to take a look at the set-disk PowerShell commandlet as well that will help us to make changes to our disk using that option.